Well, the book really starts with a bang. I mean, a body is washed up and a car is vacant on a ferry. And I think anyone reading that or seeing it in a movie, it's like, well, what happens next? And then to see a politician in such vulnerable, vulnerable ground. Well, it happens every day in the real world. But to see it in, in this kind of magnitude, with the, with the buildup of the story. And he looks like such a capable man, such a kind man, such a uh, statesman, for him to be accused of something like this. So I think it leads and starts the story in a very, very strong narrative. And I think that it catches the audience's imagination. I know it did for me reading the book. I think that her support of Adam Lang is unconditional. I think that she f feels so highly about him and the way he conducts his business and who he is as a man. She has tremendous uh, respect for him. So I, I think that she feels that if in this decision to do what he has done in this politically incorrect atmosphere, that he made the right choice, the only choice that he could. I think Roman is a wonderful director because he leads the suspense. You follow him. You can't stop looking. You need to know more. And that's what I've heard him say sometimes, even in a camera move. No, we need the suspense. Don't, don't be so literal. Leave a little something out so the audience is behind the director, behind the story. They're not in front of it or right with it. They have to catch up. And that's what I love about Roman's work. It's so exciting to watch because I don't know where I'm going to end up. I don't know who's going to say what. I don't know who's bad or who's good. That, to me, is a fascinating filmmaker who leads, leads you slowly but deliberately into a trap. And then, you know, you have, like the characters in the film, the same kind of climactic effect. It's really thrilling to watch. Well, I think Pierce is incredibly appealing, you know, which I definitely think a politician needs to be. He's incredibly charming. I mean, he was James Bond. <laughs> um, so there's that ease, but there's also a vulnerability about him, which I always felt with Tony Blair. You know, his eyes would tear up, and he was the, the people's prime minister. And I feel that there is that naturally in Pierce. You feel it about him. He has an air and a sophistication, and uh, you can approach him very easily, as people do on a daily basis. And he's always very kind and attentive. And uh, I, think, I think it's perfect casting for Adam Lang. I mean, he certainly looks the part. Uh, and, I, and I think that there is that ease that he brings. Well, I think Ewan is the rebel in this story. He's the unknown. As I said before, he's like the Joker. And you don't know if he's taking things seriously and he makes some bad jokes and he makes some bad remarks. So he's really the outsider that kind of rubs everybody the wrong way. But he, in his journey of discovering what's going on, you're following him. I feel that Olivia has really captured the strength of Ruth with such ease. And at the very last scene, you can see she too is a victim of this regime. She too is a victim of this political, you know, uh, plot. And you kind of feel for her as well, because you see that all of these machinations of what she was going through, she was actually in quite a bit of pain. But you don't know that until way too late, which is quite brilliant, because then it all kind of blooms at the very end, and then you say, ah, I understand. <laughs>